What's up, what's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back. Don with the uh, Don Fran Show. Uh, so this is actually normally a live stream, but tonight I'm going to do a pre-recorded. Um, I'm going to talk about um, AMC and then I'm going to break down the markets, kind of what we saw today. Uh, you know, I love the interaction. I, I've made this channel to talk to you guys, read the comments and respond, but I want to just get to the point tonight and, and kind of uncover a lot of that. Because as you can see right now, we have the, uh, this is what the S&P would be tracking, right? This is the futures that we're watching right now. We do see it selling off. Now, if we actually get into the smaller time frames, uh, you'll see we had the FOMC, uh, you know, we had defense talking today, and we saw it sell off. We saw the the dip buyer. They, they came out, but we rejected out of this blue zone. Got below it, and we're hitting here. Uh, but first, while, because uh, if you guys, I'm sure in the thumbnail, something about Ape Nation, AMC, let, let's break that one down. Because uh, I want to I level with all of you guys that, that are in this. First of all, I'm actually in this with you guys. Maybe not for the same reasons, um, but we've seen a lot of these these hype stocks. And the good news is, I was kind of worried. First of all, I thought these were just dumb plays, right? Like, yeah, I mean, I know how the stock market works. There's a lot of new people in here. And, and I'm really glad you guys got the, the whole Ape Nation, you know, because together, you know, that's you guys are strong. Yeah, that's how the stock market works, supply and demand. Uh, so, actually, Extremely awesome. Uh, but what we're actually seeing now is they're getting a new set of rules for hedge fund managers. Um, so you guys exploited a, 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 a I don't want to say a loophole, right? There was uh, some holes in the system that, would, you know, all, all we're talking about the suit side. Didn't really realize they had until it got put in their face. Um, so like I said, they got it handed to them uh, on GameStop. AMC, looks like we're getting ready to go for round two. Uh what they're going to do now, so synthetic shorts is, you know, I, you know, I got I got a few million capital and uh, I want to go short. I call up the broker. Hey, can you locate these shares? I want to short this stock. Now, hedge fund, the hedge fund doesn't actually care about you. They're not out to get you. That's that's a weird perception, right? Uh, they have more money. Money moves the markets, just like what you guys are doing. When you guys all pile in on something, it causes it to go up. More buyers goes up, more sellers it goes down. Uh so you probably feel like they've been out to get you because they have the money. They have more tools in their belt, uh, but they're not out to get you. Now, that broker will, you know, the market maker is going to say, yes, I can locate those shares because to go short, you have to borrow someone's shares. Uh, so they're, they're going to go ahead and say, hey, I got you. Go ahead and go short. They, they open that short position. Hedge fund knows nonetheless that they're a synthetic short or not. Their position is still going up and down with that particular underlying. Uh, what we're the, the problem what we're getting is is a kind of a lazy foot at the door like where they're like yeah, yeah I got you now uh, so I'm, I'm the market maker don't worry I got you go ahead and short that position we got you open your buddy calls up he wants to short too don't worry it's a popular ticker pretty high float I got you without actually locating it and that's how you get those synthetic shorts of where it's just now GameStop was like 140 percent you know that was very exaggerated AMC, they could probably still find those shares, uh, but they haven't. That's what creates a lot of that, that synthetic stuff. Uh, now, on top of that, we have you know gamma squeezes. You guys should know all about that. There's a lot of misinformation about gamma squeeze, and what's this about dark pools? Dark pools, guys, it is still this price. It is still around here. They're just getting in uh, bigger orders. Uh, I want to still behind the scenes, but it's not anywhere higher or lower. It's not magic. It's still the same stock. It's still the same company. Uh, <clears throat> so just all that going forward. Now, you're hearing about these rules 002, 005, or 002, 005. They're going to they're gonna put that to a halt. So right now, to go short, you do have to locate those shares, which I think is awesome. You know, it, it's cool that you guys actually were finally able to do something together like that and, and bring up some new stuff as the market evolves with technology we have access to it uh you know the supercomputer you call your cell phone you can just hop on the markets buy whatever you want you guys are now a force retail is a force that you know needs to be you know what are they getting into uh, so i even say all that because these new rules are coming in place what you guys did on gamestop and amc uh we're about to close this chapter uh it's, it's not going to happen again because that 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 the loophole isn't isn't going to be there. That uh, just that lazy person, that 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 flaw in accounting, whatever you want to call it, they're not going to be there anymore. Uh, so for everyone that took part in this, you guys have made some life changing money. Now, if you take that life changing money 
and ride off into the sunset, you have a story not many people can can have. Like, yeah, so what? You made a hundred thousand on GameStop and you didn't become a professional day trader after that. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> you made a hundred thousand dollars on what could be the next blockbuster, right? If if you're my age, you know what blockbuster is. If you're not, the store doesn't exist anymore. It's not just in Captain Marvel when she falls through the ceiling. It's gone. As in doesn't exist. Uh, so However you guys transition into your next phase, take your money and run. Go do something cool. I would pay off houses, that student loan debt you got trapped into. Like, There's a lot of things you can do. Don't forget your taxes. Uh, a lot of things you can do with that. But if you're going to stick around, do remember the whole Ape Nation thing. Find channels that are like mine. Uh, supply and demand. You're taking advantage of smaller trends, if that's what you guys are into, because more buyers, it goes up. Now, we're not going to talk about AMC fundamentals. Nobody's buying AMC on fundamentals. But just a quick little breakdown. If you're talking about fundamentals, let's say fundamentally this this one's doing good. If this is a Tesla chart, we think fundamentally uh, if they hit this production, they hit these many milestones by this year, let's pretend this is 2035 right here, we should be at this price. There's going to be a lot of movement inside here. So fundamentals might guide it this direction, but the supply and demand inside of all that is what's going to cause all these little movements in between that I like to take advantage of as a swing trader. So I'm not scalping for pennies. Uh, you know, I just take advantage of the different moves like that and kind of where the uh, maybe the catalyst or current little sparks ignite and you know that's where that's where i'm at at least so if you like that you're you're part of the ape nation that's where all that stems from supply and demand so if you're going to maybe pursue this maybe split your money in half play with half you're on the casino's money uh or you know go for it try to double that again it's gonna be a lot trickier it's not gonna be quite as easy you guys got off to a great start uh but that's what you're looking for going forward because they're they are about to close this this chapter it looks like they're going again they're making those rules and you're probably hearing about them right now as you as you uh I'll search all this stuff amc still inside so we got this move up right here this is the only move i care about right inside here so we gapped up and we went up so it was a, just a gap and go no looking back can't close above, can't close below. That is ultimately going to be our signs. That's pretty much a reversal candle. We got the gap down today. It sold off. It came back up. Uh, that's still a bullish candle. I want to say it's is it IWM. One of these I have like a hidden drawing on. Maybe I deleted it. It's like somewhere up here, up, up in the top. Give me two seconds. I don't want to break it down. Hang on, guys. I'll try a couple more. If it's not there, it's not there. Let's just get back to it. Anyway, I'll, I'll line it out real quick. I have a whole video about this. Uh, I have a whole playlist called How to Trade, uh, and all those are in there. Let's take your, your candle high, or well, the wick high, the wick low. That is the hole for this whole day. We went this high. We went this low. If we close right here in the middle, pretty neutral. You know, down here bearish down at the bottom very bear you hear people say we close at the lows we close at the highs we actually closed nah, not neutral i wouldn't say at the highs but we did close that is still a bullish ish candle uh so what you want to see tomorrow is probably that 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 gap up now uh, the ape nation you guys are talking about amc this is the most important week because of options chains and and a gamma squeeze and if you're buying at the money contracts, that is being hedged with actual shares by the market maker. Uh, not the $40 ones that have already been called. Right now, you can see it's at $55. So if you want to buy an options contract that the market maker needs to hedge and buy shares against, you need to be at the, the 55 the the 60 or sorry, the 50 maybe 58 50 uh, maybe you got to be right at the money. Okay, they're not going out and hedging because you bought a bunch of the 145 strike. Okay, that delta is like what three, five? Delta is how many shares you control. You go right at the money, they're going to be right at 50 shares. So if that's the market telling you this is 50 50, this goes up and down, that algorithm is saying we need to cover it or we're going to take this L. So let's get neutral delta. It's something we break down every Sunday in my Sunday live streams when we break down the actual markets. That's the expected moves we draw out. And when I talk about the market, need, the market makers will get at a neutral delta. They will buy the shares to hedge your bet. They are doing that with at the money when you buy near the money options contracts. 
Uh, so, if you guys are going to try to do that, you guys are going to try to force it on somebody, you guys think you're going to squeeze somebody out and diamond hand it up, uh, that's going to be the most effective way that happens. And that's what I'm watching for right now because that's spilling out. We, it was a gap and go inside day. So this is what I would call just a game of tug of war. Buyers and sellers. Hedge funds are probably doing whatever they can uh, to manage their positions. You guys are trying to stick it to them, trying to buy and hold. You got everybody in between doing the, let's just take advantage of the move. Uh, but this tells me someone's hands are about to get tired. Now that's when the game of tug of war ends. When one of these lines breaks. I thought it was going to be the uh, yesterday. Yeah, I thought, here we go. Pulled back and we closed. Not the strongest sign. We did stay right in that zone. Uh, but I want to keep an eye on this. A daily close above that 63 mark might just be what sparks something off. Uh, a lot of people are probably calling this last week of resistance. If it gets above 68, it's rocking and rolling. Certainly, if it gets above this, we're closing above that daily. Uh, at that point, that's the avalanche. Uh, so keeping an eye on that, I do want to say I am in this uh, with you guys. Not... Not as much as you guys are, I'll put it that way. Um, but to be just fully transparent, I am in an AMC position, shares and contracts uh, for this exact setup. So not because of the movement, but because of this setup and I like the way it looks, I'm playing just the chart on this one. Uh, so if you're part of the Ape Nation, now is, uh, I'm, not allowed, I'm not a financial advisor. <laughs> if you're gonna recruit anybody to rally that cause, this is your time. Uh, so let's break down the markets real quick. Uh, if you were on my Sunday live stream, you guys know I took a U.S. dollar, uh, U.S. Canadian dollar forex position. Uh, that I told you guys that you know, I went short, it went down, stop went in the green. I did put my long position in there, and well, today that paid off a lot, uh, quite a bit. So if you were in a forex position, this took only a few minutes. If you agreed with me, because I'm not a financial advisor, I do not give callouts, but if you agreed with my position, this is me explaining it. Uh, you rocked and rolled. You made a lot of money. So I am currently long this right now uh, and, and just trailing it. Uh, so kind of want to keep an eye out for this. Let's see. If this were is to, to pull back, this will tag me out. My stop is pretty nice and tight right up here. Uh, but I'm looking to catch a higher low. And really, the reason another reason my stop is nice and tight is we are still trending down. The dollar is still, well, looks like that still. We need it to actually get above. This is a weekly zone. I know we've been talking about this for a while. That's why it's grayed out in white. Weekly zone, which means we spent some time in it. So it takes a whole week to make one candle, which is why you see a whole bunch of movements in here. Maybe not usually aligned with what how I would draw a zone where it just bounces right out. Uh, weekly zone. That's what this, this white area is. So that's where it's been kind of choppy. I'm hoping we leave that. Ultimately, the dollar holds. We can take advantage of a bigger move on the U.S. dollar going up. Uh, so let's get into, I'm going to break down the, uh, the Russell, the NASDAQ, we need the S&P, and we're we'll talking about what Powell said before we get out of here. Uh, as far as the, uh, the Russell goes, a little bit of a red day today. Uh, did I miss an alert? No, I have an alert right here to buy. It has not quite hit it yet. Uh, as you can see here, there is nothing but sideways right now. As we, get, as we approach the top, one of two things is going to happen. We're going to find the sellers, we're going to remain sideways, or we're going to break out. We did not break out yet. Uh, you know, maybe we pulled back. Maybe that trend's still online. It needs to bounce tomorrow. If we get below this yellow, I gotta say, which one are we gonna go all the way down here and complete the horizontal pattern? Are we gonna magically bounce and make a higher low somewhere here? We'll have to take that day by day. I'm pretty bullish this. While that chart says, just wait till this alert to go off and buy that. And when that alert does go off, I am probably buying a, a decent amount. Uh, you know. Things might change. We might actually just make a higher low somewhere awkwardly like right here and turn that ship right back around. Let's take that one day by day. Right now, I'm more curious. Do we hold this bright yellow zone at the top or not? Uh, I'm kind of thinking we... You know, I'm, I was... You know, aside from the futures selling off right now, I was actually pretty bullish this. Uh, so... I'm actually bull. I bought the dip today. So uh, I bought the dip on SPY. You know, we saw that push right into the close. I did not close that position down like I did. I took that exact play last week or, yeah, it was last week. We ran up. I was like, man, I'm going to call it. We closed it. Uh, didn't do it this time. And it looks like that might gap down unless we recover overnight. Uh, so just to give you that context, I was actually pretty bullish. This. As far as Q's, Q's got that sell off. I don't know what led this one, actually. I didn't get my alerts. So Amazon just hung out. 
One Amazon. Hmm. Microsoft led that way, huh? The reason I pull these up, the top three in the NASDAQ are Apple, Amazon, and Microsoft. I mean, those carry almost, well, not all the way, but just that chunk alone can move the whole NASDAQ. So I want to see which one was the powerhouse. Looks like Microsoft rejected. Well, ultimately, out of all those tech tickers, they kind of look all right. So right now, for if you're looking at the Qs, maybe TQQQ, you're going to buy just QQQ. You probably want to see this hold overnight. Uh, and how I would do that is, it, let's say we go sideways, let's say we open up right here, maybe have your alert or your stop right below this low, and you're going to play that as a higher low. Keep your risk right there, cut it if it breaks. So, S&P right now, selling off. Let's, let's talk about what Powell said. First of all, he said the same thing he's always said. Uh, so, rates are going to stay the same, just like we thought. It was like a 95%, 99% chance rates were going to stay just right where they're at kind of like Powell has been saying the whole time so really no surprise there however there was he did bring up inflation and that's what I now I see the market selling off that's red if that's everyone's excuse so be it I don't care I actually like that he brought that up because everyone's like what do you mean there, there's no inflation you see lumber you see used cars like everything is just through the roof and it's because a lot of chains are actually still down just kind of bringing that on and uh what he said was, yeah, inflation, it, it, it might be a little bit higher than we anticipated, but uh, we're still thinking it, it's coming back down. Kind of like lumber. Lumber shot up. Lumber is actually pulling back right now. Like, it's been trending down. Finally, right? A two by four won't cost as much as a car. Uh, so they still think it's, they're going to dial it back. He says he's everything he's been saying, we're going to give you plenty of advance notice before we uh, taper, before we bring anything back, before we dial it in. We expect rate changes in 2023, maybe the very end of 2022. Maybe that was earlier than people thought. Uh, that's two years down the road. Uh, so, you know, who, who's planning that? For whatever reason, I actually like that, what he said. Uh, but nonetheless, guys... If you're on my channel, you guys know I, I don't care. That's the conversation piece. That's the why. I don't care about the why. Right now, we're looking at the sellers. I, I know we're sellers because it's red candles. Sellers are going down. So when we look at the chart overall, you know, we saw, I already showed you the smaller time frame. We bounced down. We came back up. We're selling off right now. Big picture. Let's go with the medium picture. Medium picture. We're still on this, this trend up. A bright yellow zone for a reason. One, it's the color your brain recognizes first. Two, that zone needs to hold. <laughs> Three, I, just, I don't play trend lines. It's just an overall trend of we're making higher lows. This line, what you draw on your chart is just you. You could be the Picasso of drawings. Only you can see your charts. So no one's buying off this line I have drawn. That is a story of we're making higher lows. So sometimes it touches it, sometimes it doesn't. What's more important is are we still making higher lows? Right now, we turn around right here, we go to the top of this yellow zone. Yes. The reason I have this red flag, or not red flag, this red line on here, that is my sign of, you know, something might have just changed. Because if you look at just the rate we're going up, that's pretty vertical. Some of you guys might be pretty new, and that's the only stock market you've ever known, is this. You think that's the rate. Yeah, we go up. Yeah, we have a couple red days, but we just go, and we keep climbing. We keep climbing. Uh, but when you look at over the years, that's how we normally do. That's how we normally get a little out of hand, get a little out of hand. Now, if you were to watch my YouTube channel right inside here, I didn't I didn't think I'd call I didn't call this out. But what I told you guys was next year we're gonna sell off. There's gonna be a reset switch. There's gonna be an excuse. And that's it. Now I nailed it to the T because that's just how it works. That money just controls everything. Tinfoil hat theory or not, it just controls everything. They ran it up, came out with the excuse, the Rona was just the perfect one dropped it right down now that volatility is still here we didn't just recover volatility now the vix is actually down i'm talking psychology like we sold off it was a complete cash grab what i thought now we're just bouncing back because to the moon what what number is the moon <laughs> everyone just keeps saying this moon and i've said it a bunch but i don't know the number uh, and i i can tell you guys this story is gonna come to an end at, at this pace it can't go on forever because at this point, you know, what does Dave Ramsey say? Like you put a the average car payment in and you have $2 million by the time you retire or something like that. At this pace, you'd probably be a billionaire. 
<laughs> we're not just going to hang at this pace forever. We're going to correct. We're going to get back to this kind of market attitude. So it depends on what kind of excuse we have coming up next. You know, maybe that's maybe that is two years down the road when they do increase rates. Like, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. In the meantime, we are still in uh, we're still in this current market. So uh, to explain all my lines on here, yes, we sold off today. He finally acknowledged some some kind of inflation, saying maybe it was higher, which I thought was good because turning just the blind eye like no 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 everything's fine everything's fine that's what would make me nervous for just that cheap shot that right hook out of nowhere uh and then the the market does tank like i'll worry about an excuse later didn't want it to be that one uh so overall i am still looking for the dip first of all i already bought it uh, looks like tomorrow my question will be do i want to buy some more uh that was my question most of today actually so i'm in like labu i'm in crocs uh my mentorship group knows more about what I'm in than I am in uh, Palantir. Uh, I thought about adding to those, uh, but yes, you know, I'm, I'm just going to wait. I bought SPY, and I, I bought the AMC position. Uh, so tomorrow, while I'm currently red on those positions, I'm, I'm still actively looking for the dip. I'm going to let the selling slow down, uh, which hopefully we do see overnight. And as it stands right now, I know it's a red candle. I'm actually bullish for tomorrow. Uh, so if you're watching this tonight, if that yellow zone breaks, it's a different story. Uh, I would assume volatility. That's that's something I, I won't be able to predict tonight. Like I plan everything out the night before, and I set alerts, and then tomorrow I'll just trade from my phone when an alert goes off. So I'm usually wearing an Apple Watch or my uh, Garmin watch. An alert goes off, and I buy. Uh, you know, I set alerts to where I need to know about that particular ticker. If it gets below that yellow zone, I'm going to have to babysit it and see what is going on. How volatile. Not just, is the candle red? How red is it? How fast are we moving? Is it slowing down? Are we gapping? Are we running? Well, what kind of speed is it? That'll be factors you'll have to take on that day. I don't think it will happen, but I've seen weirder stuff before. So, I, I will end it here. Uh, yeah, to be clear, Ape Nation... Congrats to everybody that did that. You finally got some changes because I really thought that was going to end in hedge funds showing you guys how much you don't control, how little your pockets are, and how much of a rag doll they can make you look like and throw you around the markets. Like that's where my head went. Like you guys are, you guys think you're attacking. If I was a hedge fund manager and I can move markets like that, and I heard a bunch of you guys tweeting, I might just throw the market around for a little bit just to pass you around. Like get out of here, get out of here, little kid. <laughs> So I, I like that they're actually making new rules and you're gonna just kind of even the even the ground for everybody. I think that's an awesome step in the future. Uh, so to everybody that did make that crazy life-changing money on GameStop and, and AMC, congrats. Now, I, I'm telling you that's not how the market works. So you gotta figure out, are you uh, you packing up and going for one of the coolest stories of, of this time at least, or are you, uh, you sticking around? If you're sticking around, hit that subscribe button. Uh, and, and thumbs up and uh, I owe you guys a live stream uh, sorry I couldn't do that tonight uh, so turn that notification on we might do a surprise one and I'll see all you guys tomorrow